Alrighty. So, the new 10 day chapter of the Battle Pass has just been released. I have spent 12,000 gold in order to be able to get the premium version of the Battle Pass chapter. And then I had to complete all the chapters just so I could get this video out for you guys, just to let you know if this tank is fucking worth it or not. So far, I would say um, for a good player, yes. This thing has one point, the way I have it set up right now, with a gun rammer, uh, optics, a turbo, and a premium consumable with a subpar crew. This tank has 3,500 DPM, 0.27 accuracy, and 1.17 seconds aim time. Four second reload on a 90 millimeter gun that put to, or a 100 millimeter gun. It's a 100 millimeter gun that puts out 250 alpha. Top speed of nearly 60 kilometers an hour. If you had a bomb turbo on this, it would be 60 kilometers an hour. Um, very good horsepower per ton. Uh, very good camo. Uh, for my second thing, I'm probably going to do something to boost the camo on this tank because uh, why would you not? Probably take the coated optics off on the second sets, maybe for the camo. I don't know. Maybe the turbo. Probably the turbo. I'd take the turbo off for the camo for the low noise exhaust. Um, but anyway, uh, this is gonna be a live gameplay session, just so I can uh, give you my honest, my most honest opinion about this tank. I think the best way to do that is to play live. So, without further ado, let's get on into it. I'm not even gonna pop consumables or boosters. So, here we go. Probably going to play like two, maybe three battles. Uh, also, I fully expect for most of the teams to have a ton of these. Um, from what I've heard from my clanmates so far to do, this is a pretty good, pretty good TD. So, not too bad. But we're we're gonna have to test it out for ourselves and see just how uh, okay or great it is. Not a great first map for uh, a TD, honestly. Um, hmm. But you do have to remember we have four seconds reload with 250 alpha. I'm trying to think of where I want to go. Luckily, there's no, like, big derpy tanks on the enemy team. But we will get splattered by some HE rounds, surely. Uh, six degrees again, depression on this tank is... Uh, doesn't really look like it's going to be that much of an issue with the way the, the gun is set up with the tank. Perhaps. Who knows? I want to know this for if it comes up. In fact, I should load some of these amazing AG rounds, which will bring your DPM nearly to 4,000. I am spotted. There is an arty, so I'm going to have to back up again. Back up behind these buildings. So I get unlit, shouldn't be lit anymore. Just wanna play it safe for this first game, honestly, and then uh, test it out in the second game. He's gonna turn, okay, I'm gonna react pretty safely. And I believe I just hit him for a lot of damage. That or somebody else did. Alright, what I want to do now is go ahead and reload to an AP shell, and I'm gonna get a little more aggressive in this game. Uh, they're, they're showing a lot in the city so far, and they haven't shown a lot out this way. I'm trying not to get spotted by the ELC 90. I'm mean, gonna try and get into this little pocket over here, and then shoot down the alleyway at 
at this here defender. Well, I'm only gonna get one shot. Dang, that's kind of garbage, honestly. Um, traverse speed? Not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. I kind of want to just play this bush for a second. Actually, with the way they're sitting out there, I really want to get... How did I get spotted? What? You'll see it's got to be over here somewhere, so... Ah! Is the Borat. Don't know how that didn't pin this turret, honestly. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here and run like a little bitch. Okay. Mm. Alright, well, no, that's fine. I'm putting too much trust into. I have to remember that I don't have max V range because the crew is garbage. Dude, what? How did I get spotted there exactly? Um, This is a situation where they have a lot of lightly armored tanks, and it's the perfect time to try the AT rounds. If I could hit my shots, that'd be great. If I didn't switch shells, I could have gotten a second one in there, but it wouldn't have been so. Um, they really need to win this city, like, oh, we have a VK-101B over here, okay, outstanding, hopefully they start pushing our and then I can switch real quick into an AG round if their light squishy TVs are doing it. I only have 300 hit points, and I only have 200 damage, so. Not having fun on Ruinberg. Like, they're gonna have to push the field. They have to know that. I don't know why they're delaying so, so long to do this. It's pretty obvious you have to do it. All good though. We're gonna be able to start shooting down this alleyway pretty soon. Or now. Definitely just now. When you're dealing with the defender, it's best to just load the gold and still bounce every single shell. What is going on? Yeah, I rolled. So of course, yeah, I rolled. Who spotted me? What? Oh my god. Is camo broken on this thing? What is. What? Even when I'm moving, I have 20% gamma, so... Not really sure what happened there. The KPZ didn't spot me, so it had to have been the AMBT, so he spotted me through 
three bushes. Yeah, well. Looks like they're gonna clean this up pretty quick on the enemy team anyway. Maybe it was that scorpion going across like that. Maybe he ended up um, spotting me when he went across. Anyway, I'm just gonna wait this one out, honestly. It's a close game. Considering how bad my team has played. Can't believe they didn't uh, push the field, honestly. It's really quite strange. I am assuming that I had a blind shot for about 360 damage on the ELC even 90. I guess it would have been like 460 damage, never mind. 1252 should be dead. How I bounced three shells off that defender. I don't know, honestly. It's a defender, it has good armor. Everybody's blaming the VK because one player makes a whole team. Just remember that, guys. Uh, if you're ever losing a game, blame your teammates. That's how you win more games. It should be toxic. Make them learn their lesson. Even if that player has only played 15 battles, doesn't know how to play the game yet because they just got to that tank. The VK probably has like 80,000 games. I'm not going to lie. So, anyway. Wow, you can receive a new vehicle in a 3D style? Yeah, I hit that uh, blind shot on the ELC for 416. Okay. Yep, terrible game. As it should be. For the first game in a tank. Very, very nice. Did none of my daily missions. Which is outstanding. Lost credits because I'm running a premium consumable that I do not buy when they are on sale because Cove is broke. But we're gonna get back into the next game. We hit one out of fourteen shot, or we hit half of our shots with point seven two seven accuracy, and uh, only one of those pinned with really good pin. So that is a skill issue. Technically, three of those shells did damage. Uh, shouldn't have been firing HE rounds. I had way too much faith in the HE rounds, but we learn and we move on. Can I get a good map? <laughs> like, do those exist? I mean, this is not a terrible map for TDs, but it's not great. Wow, if you play, wow, <laughs> 2300. The one mark on this tank is at 2300. That is, um, tier 10 medium tank levels of, um, one mark requirements. But then again, that would be the only person who's played 100 battles, I believe. Which means somebody has already played 100 battles today. I'm just gonna sit here. Not really out in the open too much. Just waiting on the links to come through, but nobody's gonna spot him, so he's gonna get through for free, which is unfortunate. He's already up there. He's not up there. What? Why didn't you go airship? What are you doing, sir? Well, anyway. It is what it is, honestly. I. Thinking a camo mat might actually be competitive equipment on the sting. There's a the scorpion drum. It's lovely. They have a 122 DM going up the airship because nobody could spot him in time. Outstanding, dude. So 
obviously, I have no clue how to play this map. And a tank destroyer. Considering our min one that does not have any armor whatsoever to speak of, I'm just gonna play at the back and uh, look for shots. See if I can find them. I can't find them. Relook it. Yeah, no, this is already. This is terrible. This is a bust of a game, and uh, just like the stir video, this is probably not going to have a good game in it. And I'm thinking this tank's going to be fairly competitive. What? If I reload a heat round, I can just not open the top of this tank. Right? Maybe not, because it's only 100 millimeters. I'm sure they're just gonna reload the HE or the AP rounds. By the way, shell velocity kind of garbage on this tank. Um, on all shell types, as it does not have any APCR rounds. And now, let's see. I don't like to play passively. I want to play a little more aggressive, try and get some to a position where I can get damage in, and I'm not just like, I don't know, waiting to get some shots, uh, and it's not going to work out very well. I'm going to get double tagged by the EBR, or the Lynx and then the Baraskas. Okay, well, that's what I get for um, playing the video game. And now I'm just gonna sit here and uh, hope somebody makes a mistake, I guess. I have no clue, dude. They're allowed to play wherever they want. We have a revelry say over here for some reason. Uh, man. Oh my god, the shell velocity is so bad. You know, for a tank that is this accurate and you want to play from that far of a distance, it really doesn't have good shell velocity, which is really quite annoying. We're gonna reload some of these high pin hash for HMs. Don't shoot me, thank you. I'm just gonna get down from there. I don't know what the Lynx is gonna try. He's gonna come after me. No, he's not. That'd be very, very stupid. It's a Barask where we're watching him, but I don't remember where the Barask is over here. That's what's I can get to here safely. Goodbye, Lynx. Not to turn. Go up the airship a little bit. I'm trying to find a shot on the G so it's not gonna work out. But there's a Boar Six button. A line of sight on you, mister, and let's see the HEDPM. Can't because somebody else shot him with HE. Outstanding. Let's switch over to an AP round. Hope we can find a shot at either the Burrask or the IS 6. Which we cannot do. I've really saved this game, haven't I? The Barask is still back here somewhere. Not sure where. He spotted me from there. What? I... I just am bad at the game. Outstanding. 
that's probably going to be pretty close to what the mark of excellence will end up lowering down to so I'm not completely unhappy with that the one mark anyway not completely unhappy with that game especially the way that the runeberg played out so would have been a little more happy if uh I didn't lose half my hit points trying to relocate there. No tank that has very good camera rating. Again, you're just seeing my poorly, poorly aimed shots biting me really, really badly. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think they actually give you the, the right equipment for this tank, honestly. It's pretty simple. I think it needs a... So, by the way... I went camo on everything but my commander. I got six cents and I got situational awareness because it needs the view range more than it needs camo, I think, on the commander at least. Um, and situational awareness is better than recon. Um, that's just a fact. You get three millimeter or three meters more view range off of situational awareness than you do recon if they're both fully maxed out. Or maybe it's two. It might be two. why you should always go for situational awareness first um but yeah we're gonna play a third game and uh, hopefully this one's a little better i'm gonna take a screenshot at the beginning of this game somehow some way we're open for like a uh, a good map glacier's decent it's not terrible it's not great for teeth <laughs> Uh, at least we got a top tier game, so we can literally pin everything easily with standard rounds. We really don't need any of our premium rounds. Um, but where do we play? Who? Heck knows. Okay. Got a 4 and 2 player on the enemy team, or T player, I don't even know what that means, but they're on the enemy team in the same tank. We got a yokai platoon of AMX 1370-57s, and uh... I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in this game. Both the T25-2s are all going over there, which is really unfortunate for me. Uh, hopefully. I can uh, see us losing a side quickly and uh, rotate over to it. Minus 1.53%. Interesting. I don't want to play too aggressively, but I don't want to play too passive, if that makes sense. The way I do play with an encounter on, just because these are um, makes some of these maps less painful to play. Um, CJK, no clue if it actually makes it any less painful, but I feel like it does. Hopefully, I don't get spotted by the E25, which I do not. So we get free range, shoot this KP 122. And this is 3,500 dpm. Yeah. 0.27 accuracy, and I can't hit him. Awesome. Outstanding. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna come over here, trying to get. Try to get vision through both bushes without getting spotted. That would be outstanding. There's no vision to be had. There's a 25 on the other side of the ditch here. And he's gonna go down. There's a fucking brass, dude. <sighs> okay, well, this is the fight we're losing. So what I need to do now is relocate. 
I'm gonna get shots of Caliban. Could get shots of C25. There's no portion on that side though. Unfortunate. This bush line provides really good cover for um, firing into the um, attacking forces here. <laughs> it's a building in my way there. Just looking for a shot on any vehicle. Like a car right there. Spotted through bushes, by the way. Team lost both flanks. <laughs> oh my god. But at least we got to see some of the DPM here. Uh, this battle so fast, this can be a four battle video. This will be a four battle video, at least less than... That battle took three minutes and ten seconds. And people wonder why nobody wants to play Stajanky ever. And yes, I call it Stajanky because it's a janky map. I know it's Stujanky. Stujanky. But, not to me. To me, it's just janky. Okay? Alright. What is our average damage so far? 1,500. Not great. We're going to keep going, though. It's going to be a four-battle video. Congratulations, and you'll never see it again. It's also probably going out tomorrow morning while I'm at work, because I just released the other video today. It's kind of like a, a stopgap, I guess. I don't know. Appreciate the premium rounds on this tank, it's actually really, really expensive. As they are a 330 heat pin. So I think the, the biggest drawback of this tank so far, just from first impressions, is um, definitely the shell velocity. Yeah, the armor's bad, but you knew that before you... You know that as soon as you see the tank and what nation it's from. It's a Czechoslovakian tank with good auto, with good DPM. Obviously, it's not gonna have very good DPM. I do like to see this. We have a ELC even 90. Don't know if he's any good, but we have an ELC even 90 matched up against a Walker Bulldog. I think I think you might want to just start if you, especially if you don't have intuition, just start with an HE run. Especially on a map like Fjords, where the first tank you're normally going to see is a light tank. I think CVS is also a major drawback of uh, what's going to end up happening to this tank. Yeah, I'll go fuck myself, Scorpion. You ram me and then you invite me to a platoon. So you can, I don't know, yell at me, I guess? I don't know. Screen not penetrated. Okay. Outstanding. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna reload AP rounds. Here. Actually, no. We're gonna reload these HEP rounds. Are these HEP rounds? These are HEN rounds. Let's go. Are they hen rounds or is it just the name of the gun? That's not the name of the gun. Those are hen rounds. Let's go, dude. 
I'm so happy about that. Couldn't think of a better name, honestly. Okay, you'll see, you gotta go spot something. Please, and thank you. Another 122 TM's getting aggressive, so we're gonna reload. And AP round, bounce off his cupola. Outstanding. Now you're looking at the best tier 8 premium as with regards to uh, gun handling and, uh, and DPM. Completely useless AP around there. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Not AP, not AP. This is most certainly a hen round. Quite frankly, if uh, the entire community doesn't adopt the name Hen Round, I'm actually gonna knock this over real quick. So we have a Bissante. And uh, he's not gonna understand that I have way too good of DPM. He's gonna just focus his turret. Unfortunately, this scorpion's gonna get tracked in front of us, but we're still gonna put another show in. Outstanding. This is kind of map and the kind of game where this tank is going to shine. Your enemies are just pushing out in the open. And giving you somewhat easy shots, somewhat difficult shots. What we're actually going to do here is relocate over to the middle. Ah, dang. This game is ending too quickly. Or is it? We have a tank. The top speed of nearly 60 kilometers an hour. With not very good alpha damage, but very, very, very good uh, DPM. Good idea, but I hit the tracks. Not gonna get a third kill here. Just gonna reload an AP round. Size three's about to back up. Farming, tracking. There we go. Relocate. Man, this is not an easy tank to make the DPM work. I don't know for a certain period of time. With that being said, we do have three kills. Still an unspotted Barask. Also a Scorpion. There is now spotted. He is playing super aggressively for some reason. It's another Scorpion. We're gonna put an HT round into him. Oh, sorry. Not a HT round. A hand round. Right, let's go. I'm gonna try and fight the minion. He'll end up hitting our Barask friend. I'm just going to try and go around the back side of the scorpion and put another HE round into him. There we go. Nice. 2400 damage, 4 kills. And a tune. Oh, no. I didn't see you, my friend. And we rigged Brothers in Arms. Let's go. Okay, well. Game over. I'm pretty sure that was Patriots, honestly. Uh I don't know who you are. Okay. First class on the first day. Let's go. Four kills, 2400 damage. Do I think this tank's worth it? If you did what I did, no. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of money to invest in gold to... Um, to get a tank that is really only good at one thing, so. That's shooting um, people from a distance. Who is this? It's trolling. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, anyway. I was wondering why he rammed into me. Okay, well. After four games, 1700 DPG with 400 assistance, which is Quite odd, 1.5 kills per game, not bad. 
And overall, I'd... It's a good tank. If, if, if you know how to play TDs, which hopefully you know how to play TDs better than I do, you know how to seek out damage, uh, this tank is very much worth um, the 20, 30 hours you're going to have to spend to get it. Like, this is 20 or 30 hours in 10 days. So that's, I mean, that's less than a, than a work week. I mean, f just finish your daily missions and you're going to get um, tons of uh, tons of battle pass points. Um, completing tier 6s is actually a really relevant way of of um, completing this stage of battle pass, I think I think that's been a little bit overlooked. Tier six games, you have a little bit more influence in. Um, you can be top in the game a lot more, and um, they take a lot less time. So I think people are kind of overlooking the fact that you, you can complete these tier six things, like the Excalibur, the not the Cal. Like your Excalibur, your, your Cromwell B, like T thirty four eighty five M, complete these um, battle pass points because you're gonna get fifteen for completing them. Like yeah, you, you only get seven for a win and five for a loss, but you should be top three every time, hopefully, or at least be in the top ten every time. In tier six, um, but yeah, like. I would play some some tier to, tier six tanks in order to to get um, some battle pass points a little quicker than normal, right? Um, but anyway, I, if you're a half decent player, I I think you can you can really make this tank work very very well very quickly. It, it's um, it's very good. It, the only thing I, I can see that really holds the tank back is the shell velocity. And even that, that can be fixed with a bit better aiming. Um, there are some shots that you're not going to be able to hit because you're not going to have the shell velocity to uh, throw it in as tight of a window. But then again, the HT rounds have higher shell velocity. Oh my god. The hen rounds have higher shell velocity than the AP rounds. Well, let's go. This tank is designed for better players, I think. The way that the, the last couple of tanks have not really been designed as much for, for better players. They're just kind of like designed for newer players. This tank is specifically designed for better players. It is a T67 at tier 8. Completely. Like, there's, there's no denying that. And, uh, yeah, I think it's completely worth it. If you don't do what I did and uh, have to have it on the first day, but yeah, this tank's kind of awesome, honestly. So, uh, yeah, yikes! This is a long video. It's also probably not gonna get edited at all, and it's gonna go straight onto YouTube. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. My name's Cove, and I'm leaving. Bye.